So here I have all the frames that I'm going to use in this image. So I have selected five images that I'm going to put together. Um, <clears throat> so the, the technique starts, so you all, uh, select all five of them and go edit and merge to panorama in Photoshop. And after you have done it, uh, the Photoshop will open up uh, with this uh, specific dialog. So then in Photoshop you will select layout as auto, the, all the files are selected and uncheck the blend images together and just click OK. After this Photoshop will open up all the layers in one single document and then also do the alignment um, of the layers so they are exactly on top of each other so there's no kind of a ghosting um, when you start doing the blending images together. So now the Photoshop has opened up all the layers in one single document and you can see that they are exactly on top of each other. So if the Photoshop twists and turns them to be exactly. So now you just select the first base layer and we will put that layer on top of it. And if you alt click the mask button you will get a black mask and you, you can paint white to reveal the information you want from that specific frame. So from here I'm masking out the woman in that, that other frame that is in top of my base layer. And you can kind of select what you need from that, that picture. So uh, this is your choice, how you and what you want from each layers to be shown. So you mask out. And then you can kind of smoothen things and always you can come up back to the certain layers and do better masking uh, for this. So, so I've selected only that part from that layer. So I will drag the other um, layer on top of it. I'll click the mask that makes it black mask and I can just paint now the other person. Actually it's the same model but I have shot her twice like light lit her separately. So I'm just masking out her into the scene and kind of a, trying to figure out what kind of a parts I want from this picture. So everything is your choice, what you from to select from each frame and mask only the things you need. And because they are aligned, it's easy to mask out and there are no ghosting of these images. So. Then, for example, you can use um, a blending modes. Um, for example, I would need to get that edge of my uh, tree. So I could put the, uh, the blending mode to lighten uh, from the uh, blending modes and then put the black mask. So everything that is lighter than the lower uh, back background layers will be shown. So now it's again easier to mask only the light parts of the trees um, to the image. So carefully you can just mask and select what what you want from that specific frame. So when you use lighten everything that is lighter than the layers below will be shown. So I'm using this always to kind of reveal these light, uh, light areas. And same thing for the other layer, the other side of the tree. I'm uh, alt clicking mask, put the blending mode into lighten and then just mask that edge of the tree to be visible in my scene. So with this technique I can do whatever kind of lighting I want. Um, always have to be careful to think ahead that I will have all the necessary um, files to kind of match my, my image, what I need from this. So there you have it, uh, just a simple way of showing the technique, what goes and um, as I write in my blog, you can create all kind of stuff with it. So enjoy. I uh, hope you had a great time.